Okay, so we've got our resident science or scientist, science journalist. We're still working on our title right now. Uh, but Juliana, you recently went with me to see some tiny uh, western pond turtles that are endangered, and scientists are working to bring back their numbers, right? Yep. So why don't you first start telling us about the problem? What happened to the western pond turtle? Yeah, so the western pond turtle is found from Baja, California in Mexico um, all the way up to uh, Puget Sound. And it used to be found everywhere. And in um, 1990, there were only about 150 of them left. So uh, they were being, they were caught for food. They're, they were suffering from habitat loss. Um, and then there were invasive species uh, like bullfrogs, which eat the young turtles. So their population was decimated. And in 1990, the Woodland Park Zoo started this conservation program where they would collect the eggs and hatch them at the zoo and give them a little bit of a head start. And they call that the head starting Right, they program. call it head starting. Uh -huh. Now what we're looking at right here is shell disease, which is like the latest issue that they're facing. Yep. Do, do you know a little bit about shell disease? Uh, not much because the scientists don't know that much. True. Um, so it's this very mysterious disease uh, wherein these turtles are developing lesions on their shells that eat away at the structure. And so this can leave them vulnerable to uh, disease or attack. It also can press into um, some of their, uh, their spinal cord, yep. into their lung issue, uh, and so it causes motor problems. And, and like you said, they're not really sure what causes it. They're also not sure how bad it's going to be for these turtles. Uh, so let me ask you this. What was your favorite part about doing the turtle story? Oh, the baby turtles are just so cute. They're like this big and, and just wagging around. And when they're just born or like hatched, right? Yeah. They're like this big. Yep, yeah, the size of a quarter. Okay, so moving past the cute turtles, something that's not so cute is bacteria in Lake Washington and just kind of lakes in general, but we're going to talk about Lake Washington because yep. you looked into that. So what's going on there? Okay, so uh, the city has a program where they test uh, for certain levels of bacteria and different algae um, in 19 swimming beaches around, around Seattle, um, including uh, Juanita, Bay, uh, Juanita Bay Beach, which is where we were a couple days ago. And so the things they're testing for are um, fecal col coliform bacteria, which is found in fecal matter, um, and two different toxins that are produced by harmful algae. And if they find levels that are high enough, they'll, they'll issue public warnings and they'll shut down the beaches. So we know if there's a problem. We're not just going to accidentally swim in a really bad exactly. area. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So if the beach is open, um, it's safe to swim. And you can go online and check it out. They have a list of beach closures. Awesome. Juliana, thanks. So for more on what King County is doing to make sure the waters you swim in are safe, just text the word lake to 206-448-4545. Just that prompter. I think it's out at the lake right now. And <laughs> enjoy the nice day. Juliana, thank you for being our Bill Nye the Science Gal. Uh, thanks take for having five. Me. Or just send it over to Michelle.